Hello, red room. That looks amazing, by the way. Nope, this is just genuinely red and blue light. Alright. This is like a Beatles song, isn't it? I feel like I'm on the set of Across the Universe. Alright, well that's an elevator. Oh, that's the elevator we could see from the top. Oh! So again, if we get that lift to the top, then I get my laser. Does this room serve a purpose? Oh! Through this lens, everything is blue. Oh, this is a, a red, white, and blue room, isn't it? Democracy! Except they're probably not actually that color. So we can go up or down. Blue room. Ow, that is... Oh, there's something really wrong feeling about everything being one color. Hello? That's where we're trying to go. Oh my god, you can't even really see below you, it's just all blue. Is there a puzzle in this chamber? Or is it just weird? Maybe- Oh, we're probably gonna keep bringing the elevator upstairs. Oh, it's green up there. I bet we're gonna have a puzzle that's inside the elevator and we're gonna ride it up and down and it'll have different reactions to different colors as we move it up and down. That's gonna get weird. Dark area. Weird stuff. Now it's all red. So red room, mixed kind of room in the middle, and then blue room up top, basically. Let's see, is there anything to see from here? Just trying to see if whether or not uh, seeing everything from this perspective... Can't use that. Everything's red washed, so that's your chance to potentially turn something into a, a dot for a maze. Is by making certain colors suddenly combine with each other. Interesting, the cyan uh, glass became completely opaque. Weird. Alright, elevator time. Hello, you. So. Okay, that worked. Wow, so it's not about uncovering the secret of the color. It seems to just be whatever color you currently see and nothing else. Okay. So just separate them again, right? Bye, multicolored room. Now it's the blue room. So it's just the last one then, right? Oopsie. This must get weirder as we go higher or something, right? Oh, maybe I have to start changing the color in this room to change the color on here to make it solvable. I can almost see it becoming unsolvable. Well, before I move the elevator again, I might as well look around in here. So welcome to green. With blue below me. It's, the game's the game's just more comfortable when you're between the two colors. Once, once you go to a solid color layer, it just becomes weirdly alien. Nope, the stairs don't work. Is there a puzzle here? I don't see anything draggable. Just a pretty room. Alright. These are weird. Just because they're almost not puzzles. Oh. 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 It's fried. Well, now I've got questions. Oh, no. That combination gets you to the green room. Am I supposed to figure out what combination would take me past the green room? Like, by memorizing the pattern? Oh, no. So I need to know what's going to happen if they all become green. And if I solve it wrong, do we go back to the bottom? We do, don't we? Okay, well I, I assume I can go all the way back to the top though, if I get the right solution. So... Crap. So 
Do I need to figure out... Let's see, all of these floors were colored though, weren't they? Oh, that's where this gets hard. Every floor on, that we see is colored. So you can't see what this looks like in white light. You can only figure out what it looks like in these light conditions. And then you have to figure out what, what it's going to look like when it's green. Alright, so. Ah, let's figure this out. So this is red. <laughs> All right, so I've got a bunch of reference pictures here. I took a picture of every floor and put them together on one image labeled with the type of light that's on them so we can try to keep track of this. Over here in the bottom right, you see the structure of the puzzle. We have all of these individual notes. There's three ones and three fives on the far ends, meaning in the, all of the colors we're given, those three on the far left and right always stay the same color as each other, meaning they're all the same color, hopefully. Uh, but in the middle, there's three sets of two. It all looks like white for a while, but then in, when it's put in cyan, the middle one turns blue. So, what we know is that 3 is different from 2 and 4. We don't know if 2 and 4 are different from each other necessarily, but it would not be crazy to think that it's some sort of ongoing color gradient between whatever these two colors are. So then, what are those two colors? Well, according to my- I took notes to try to observe how the exact logic works here between surface color and light color. And I had one case where something turned black. It was when I took a red surface and shined a, and looked at it through a blue, I mean, I took a red surface and looked at it through a cyan uh, lens, which is the dots on that, uh, on the puzzles earlier on, in the, on the, in the, that we did in the, earlier on the floor. So, that's this is the surface color up here, red, and down here is cyan, the light color. So when the two are added together, or subtracted, or however you want to call this, because I i don't know the best terminology for this stuff. That's how we got black. So, based on that, we should know that black means that you're combining two opposite colors. In that case, that means that here, red, in the red light, we get a black right here. The opposite of black is cyan, as I just, actually, that's, that's the exact example I just used, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. So, this red light making this black means that that on the far left, one, is cyan. I should start writing that, actually. There we go, got a little space for us to take the notes properly about what these things are. So, we've established that one is cyan, because it's the opposite of red. Here, five is the opposite of blue, so five is yellow. Which makes some potentially makes some sense, because when you get to cyan, Let's see, right here we're, good, we're adding cyan light to yellow. I am... S I'm still having troubles wrapping my, my, my mind around this, so why does... Why do we get yellow color when we add cyan light to yellow? This plus that doesn't equal green? It just stays yellow? There's elements that this that I can't quite tell, but there's also elements where... Like, is that supposed to be green, maybe? Like, let's look at a... Let's use the dropper on it. <laughs> is that green? That is green. Okay, that's green. Cyan plus yellow equals green. That's apparently green. That looks so yellow to me. I'm losing my mind, apparently. Okay, that's important. That We've established this is green. So cyan plus yellow equals green. Further establishing that, yes, that is in fact yellow, as established over here. That makes sense. Okay. So now what I want to do is let's establish what number 3 is. 3 is the outlier that's weird here. So right here, 3 is showing up as being blue in the cyan field, the bottom right one here. So it's blue right now with cyan light, which should make it magenta. Let's just type that in. That's not how you spell magenta. So if 3 is magenta, does that jive with everything else? So this is the purple light. I should have called that magenta light. Um, let's go ahead and type that in. <laughs> Got to be consistent here. Magenta. I'm going to solve this puzzle, goddammit. <laughs> so that's magenta light, M. 
So here we have magenta light. Here we have red light, blue light. So the middle part is, it, it seems white, but only because of the reference, right? So if it's white looking on magenta, then that means it's magenta, right? Or at least that, that supports the idea of it being magenta on top of this one. Here, it looks red. Well, if we have magenta and we shine red on it, wouldn't it then become red? And if you shine blue on magenta, does it become blue? Or more blue and more red? Because it's a neighbor to them, I'm willing to accept the idea that it's just uh, taking on their appearances. Because it does appear that those are... Let's see, let's use the eyedropper again. That's the wrong layer. Yep, that is in fact red, and that is quite blue. And this middle one is quite purple. So if you're shining those colors on them, it, it would, it's reasonable to assume that it's taking on that specific color. Specifically because we're taking a place that only has blue light. So if it's a purple magenta color, and you only give it a red light, it's going to look red because you can't express the blue component of what it looks like. Or at least that's how I think this works. <laughs> so I think I'm confident right now with the name, with the, uh, what we've given as being, I accidentally tabbed a few times here. I'm confident these are cyan, magenta, and yellow. The question is, what is going on here? So this one's strange. Two and four seem like they might be the same color because they always match each other, I think. I can actually confirm this, so let's click up here. Yeah, it looks the same in red. Magenta. It seems to be the same in that picture. Slightly off because of the brightness from top to bottom of the screen, basically, but that's it. And these, yeah. So in all four cases, uh, two and four just look like the exact color of whatever is shining on it. Based on that, uh, I'm not entirely sure, certain, but uh, it could be that those are both white, perhaps. Because if they just take the color of absolutely everything and they're just reflecting the color right back at us, that seems like the most logical thing for them to be. So this is step one of this problem. This is quickly becoming the most complicated problem we've done in this game, I believe. Although someone may have just intuited their way through it in two seconds and I may be overcomplicating the whole thing. But anyway, now what we need to do is find out what happens when these colors are shown green. I'm going, to create, I'm going to modify the diagram in the bottom corner real quick to reflect what we think the colors currently are. So we're getting more support for some of the theories here. So by the way, so this is bottom right corner is now colored based on what I think the current answers are as we wrote down on this note a moment ago. So that, that's a better visual representation of what I think the painted on colors are. And we get some more support for what, the way I'm trying to interpret this stuff because if this is cyan, then over here under magenta, it's becoming blue. So you take cyan, shine magenta on it, get blue. Makes sense. So now we need to figure out what happens if we take these three colors and shine green on them. So yellow is half green, half red. So if it is exclusively given green light, it's going to look green. So this here on the, fr on the right is going to be green. This on the bottom, in the top, all the white is also going to be green, based on how we're going right now. Now magenta here, when you shine green on it, is either going to be yellow or red or, well, it's going to be orange basically. This is going to be orange. That's a different color. Cyan here. Oh, here. Cyan is also adjacent to green. So when you shine green on it, this should also become green. Yellow and cyan are both neighbors of green, so this should be all be green, except for the middle, which should be orange, I believe. All right, if I solved this just now, I'm going to be very pleased with myself because I spent a long ass time thinking about this. <laughs> uh, I don't even care if I did it in a dumb, overcomplicated way. If I did it, I earned it, right? All right, so we're on the previous floor right now. All right, there we go. I solved the one we were, we were on a second ago. So now we're now supposed to be on the green floor. So I have to solve by typing in what's going to happen if we were on the green floor, right here. So if we were on the green floor, we've decided, we've decided that everything is going to be the same color, everything's gonna be green, except the middle. The middle is going to be orange. So we need to highlight the middle separately and nothing else. Holy shit. Ha 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 ha. 
That's really satisfying. That took so long. Damn you, green floor. Damn you. And goodbye. There's more? Is there more? I don't know if I should expect there to be more or not. What's gonna happen here? We're gone? We're done? Surface? Huh. So that got me back to the surface. Now I just need to go higher. Okay. So we did green. We went from... Huh. Let's review real quick. So the floors were red, magenta, blue, cyan, green. Next floor is yellow. Next floor is yellow. That, uh, right. That's why this whole containment center is yellow. Okay, so we'll just keep going then. We'll just keep going. So, what if all of these were yellow? So cyan plus yellow is going to be green. This is going to be green. Yellow. Yellow on the bottom here too. And then cyan, yellow plus yellow is going to be white. So this is going to become white because it's the exact color. Or not, not, the, not white, it's going to become just itself. So yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Sand becomes green, magenta becomes red. So this is one color, that's another color, and these are all a third color. I think. So one, two, three. Now I just need a way of uh, easily separating all those things, so... Do I loop around like this first, maybe? That gets me in some trouble, doesn't it? That's... yeah. I need a better separation. If I do this first, one... But then I can't get out. Alright, I need a better plan for how to attack this. Well, that's all I have- to, yeah, that's all I have to do, right? Just go boom... Boom. No. I did something wrong. Was it the yellow? Is it not actually yellow? It must be yellow, right? So I must have miscalculated something about what it's gonna look like. Alright, so... Here's my issue. I am very convinced that my solution for the problem is correct. So then the only thing I can think is that my problem's wrong. I think I've correctly solved what happens if the light is yellow. But what if the light's not yellow? Am I supposed to treat it like white light? Is that so- am I supposed to just treat it like white? It's like, do I just separate these three things and that's it? Oh, son of a bitch. Why is it white? Red. Purple. Blue. Cyan. Green. White. Come on, man, you're gonna make me a- that- For the- possibly for the first time in this game, I'm actually kind of bothered by a puzzle. That doesn't seem right to me. Like, I understand that we're out in the open, so you might be thinking, Oh yeah, it's white. Ta-da! It's just really- oh shit. Wait, is it some kind of play on the idea that the sun is yellow and it's all- all light is yellow? No, because this is genuinely yellow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm iffy on that one. Maybe that. Maybe the whole play is that it's supposed to be sunlight, and that's the whole reference. But it's just when it goes that's when you have me obsessing over the color wheel, and then the yellow slot is just not yellow. I don't know how I feel about that. But at least I solved it. I can. Man, this area took me two and a half hours, and the elevator was most of that time. But it. It. I had trouble a lot of the time. I have no idea if this is going to be like one long video or if I'm going to... I mean, I'm sure I edit 90% of this out, but hey, I solved it. Hey, yellow... Hey, the yellow light is from the desert is just going off in the distance still. It doesn't hit anything. Interesting. I assume that at some point I'm going to make it reflect somehow with a mirror. But that's something for another day. Let's just enjoy my victory. God damn it. <laughs>
victory. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus, victory. All right. Can I even get down from here? Do I have to, like, break the puzzle to do that? Be like, boom. It's gonna take me all the way to the bottom, isn't it? Maybe I could have typed in the specific solution for this one. Can I do this floor? Oh, cool, you can type in the individual floors. So that'll take me to green. Aha! It is a functional elevator. I guess I could have hopped out either way. But it is a functional elevator, so every combination works at all times. Cool. Anyway, guys. Game's getting tougher. Uh... I suspect that the game will still stay re relatively easy-ish while I'm doing the lasers. But when I'm when I get to the point where I'm doing bonus stuff that goes beyond the lasers and it's all the, and it's crazy extra stuff that's op super optional, it'll probably get a lot harder. So if the game does get way harder, I still plan on finishing it. It's just don't be surprised if suddenly the frequency of episodes drops and maybe it takes a few days for the next episode to come out later on in the series because at some point there's just footwork that needs to be done to figure this stuff out. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to solve some of this stuff on the computer screen if I can, just to make it easier to show you guys what I'm doing. Because taking the... I can take notes by hand, but that stuff's kind of awkward to insert into a video. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching, like always. Sorry if I missed any environmental mazes around here. I was really preoccupied with the, uh, the, the real mazes. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Where we'll probably go into that bamboo maze. I mean, the bamboo area. Interestingly, I, I know other people that played this game that got there, like, immediately. It's just, we're almost all the way around the island, so that that's, where, like, the second zone you could go to, practically. Because of the non-linear nature. Alright. I'm gonna play Dragon's Dogma, goddammit. <laughs>